last 25 years uh, has been about this question of monstrosity, <laughs> the monstrosity of historical narratives. Um, but I think in this particular case, the, uh, the piece on Stuart Hall, The Unfinished Conversation, is really about the traffic of history. It's about um, the, the traffic between the past and the present of ideas, of identities, how, do, how we move in time. So there's a very direct connection between the unfinished conversation and the theme of the, of the show. We're both concerned with the, the conundrum, you know, the, the paradoxes of history. And we're trying to ask the same questions, which is, what is a historical narrative? Um, how is it constructed? Uh, what are the elements uh, of that narrative? And in what ways does the elements of a historical narrative shape human action and responses. So the unfinished conversation is a three screen piece, three channel uh, moving image piece. And the uh, point of departure for it is the work of a, a very influential um, cultural theorist in England called Stuart Hall. Stuart Hall was one of the founders of cultural studies. The man whose life is uh, the point of the, of the piece is, is one of my mentors. He helped uh, my generation, the young people um, whose parents were from immigrant families um, who became like 18, 19 in the 70s, people like me in England, helped us a lot to think about who we were and what we want to do with our life. Because uh, when I was a young person in the uh, late 70s, early 80s, to hear him talk about what it is to be different in a society was very, very important. It gave you a sense of, um, not simply of self, but of um, agency, you know what I mean? Of um, what you could do with your life. So it seemed uh, like a fitting tribute to be able to, at some point, use that life, my life, to do something on his life. <laughs> it's really a dialogue about how, how human beings come about, what we are and, I suppose, where our identities come from. Because it's a conversation between him, his world, and the images of his world. So you've got three different uh, things happening at the same time. So let's say, for instance, he's interviewed uh, in 1962, and the interview is about poverty. So you see him speaking about poverty in the middle screen. On the left screen, you might see some images of poverty from that period, but you could also see at the same time on the other screen, images of poverty in the present. So it's a, the, the three screens are trying to get get images to talk to each other. Most conventional understandings of history presuppose that history is unfolds, if you like, sequentially. Yeah, one thing leads to the next and so on and so on. The, the theme of the show suggests otherwise. It suggests that the, the relationship between the past and the present is slightly more dynamic, uh, much more fluid, much more ambiguous, and that where there are relations between human beings and historical events, it's not a direct, or if it is direct, it's not um, simple. So I think this, this uh, way of making our sense of the historical complex and complicated, if you take uh, Taiwanese history, let's say, over the last 60 years, most people who consider themselves Taiwanese have a complicated relationship to that history. That's not unique. It's not unique to, to Taiwan. Just about everywhere you go on the planet to intervene in that process. The process by which, on the one hand, you have history and on the other hand, you have identity. To intervene in the middle and try and make that complicated as part of a show, I think is important because that's the real relationship that people have.